Hey guys, what's going on? It's Simon Alpha1009 and welcome everyone back to Subnautica. We're here with episode 2 of Subnautica. So last video we built the Sea Glide. We've done quite a bit because we got to the second thing. And I've got the ability to make the mobile vehicle bay and I've got a lot of stuff done. Vegan, let's get Um My grav trap is very annoying. I came on here and it's just <coughs> Driving me nuts. Um, I'm gonna buy a reactor. How about a trash can? Yay! I could make the rebreather, but what we're gonna do today is finish what I wanted to do, which was build uh, the builder, which I need more silver. from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? 17. They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the... Hold on. Voice. Oh! Come get us already! Signal location uploaded to PDA. New creature discovered. Come here. Come here. I just want the water. And again. Pita. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. That's smart. Very smart. So, we need silver. We need to go to the nearby grassy plateau to get the builder. Now, before I, um... How I'm gonna put it is, I'm gonna actually go to the island, which is that way eventually, and get the, uh, all the different, um, what's my call? what was I after? Uh, all the, like, the multi-purpose room, all those type of things. That's a wreck of bin. No, it isn't. I've been in here, I believe. No, I haven't, but I do know there's a way in. I do know there's a way in that doesn't result to the laser cutter. Like this. Hey, bench. Chair. Blood light. Another mobile vehicle bay fragment. For me, that just means... Pieces. Data. I'll scan the desk. We'll scan the desk. Like, usually we'd need the laser cutter to get in, but I have done another world, and I'm like, yeah, I've been here before. No, I haven't. Okay, my life one's over here, which means around this way over here should be the grassy plateaus, as well as the way to the aurora. the floaters we could always go in the floater I'm trying to avoid using I should avoid trying to use the sea glide so much I have a habit of using it all the time uh, but I just want my silver lead silver there you go my foot is that way Hello, Mr. Reefback, how do you do? <coughs> what do I have? Hmm, decent. I just need some water in me. I still have the water from the last thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. 
Because this way will lead me straight towards the island. And that would be very useful because I want the multi-purpose room. I want the observatory. It'll help me when I build the freaking goddamn Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum will occur within two hours. Okie dokie. I'll have to go fix that eventually when it actually blows up. Oh, but eventually. Ooh, then again, I'll eventually have to go out there to go get the Cyclops pieces because I know the. Uh, what's it called? It doesn't have it all. It's over here. I mean, you tried, you failed. It's not really much of a wreck. Looks like a good spot to build a home. And he's even got a freaking cave. Look at the cave. I don't even think that's an actual cave. On the other hand, I think this may be a Seamoth. Yeah. One of three. Seamoth fragments. I have just found a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Yeah, a biome that conveys the crab snakes. Because, you know, those guys are just fun. I'm not going anywhere near them yet. I changed my course because I saw something I want. Like, there's a freaking wreck over here. I don't know if I need the laser cutter though. Scanner room fragment. It's one out of three. Integrating new PDA data. Quartz. I mean, that's a laser cutter door. There you go, we got the seam off. After this one, we'll have the seam off. New blueprint acquired. Okay. Command chair. I'm gonna have to go up. Grab some fucking air. New blueprint acquired. Up we go! I'm glad there is a way down, or I should say, not really much of a way down, but a, a door. I actually don't need to... Okay. That's a battery charger. That will be very useful. <laughs> battery charger... I do believe I'm gonna have to a potion cannon. I do believe I'm gonna need the laser cutter to get through all these, because there's two doors here. So, so all I know is that it's south. Oh, hey, Mr. Reefback, how do you do? This should be the way I was originally heading in the first place. Hopefully. Yes. I am not going anywhere near that rock. It will murder me. How's my inventory looking? Because I want enough room for the lantern fruit so I can actually, like, uh, upgrade it. Or, actually, not up freaking upgrade it. How do you upgrade a lantern fruit? I don't know. We're in the crag field.
still am in the great field, aren't I? Sparse Reef is it's called, actually. Yeah, I'm still in it. Pretty sure I'm heading the right direction. Pretty sure. The only reason I can't tell... Uh, there's the island! Where the fuck am I going? trying to go around it. What the fuck did I just hear? I get the feeling that something's around here that wants to kill me. I know there's no reapers around here. I'm just scanning my plants. I've never been on this part of the island before. Around this area? Oh, I have. Just never came in through that entrance. Go away. I don't like you guys. Those crab give things I don't like at all. I don't think anyone likes them. Hey, it's a bulba tree. Grub basket. I got a message. It's getting night time and I don't like it. Come and fight me! I just killed it. Chinese potato. Oh, now I've got the exterior. I think that was an exterior. I don't know. The multi-purpose room. This will be my friend. I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Integrating new PDA Maybe data. should have just scanned this. Congratulations, huh? Survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. New blueprint acquired. The bulkhead door. I don't know if I'm ever going to build it. I don't think I've ever built it in any of my other worlds. New blueprint acquired. Stasis rifle frag. Alright. Huh? So why not 
had two. I mean, he's just sitting down there. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. My poor ears. charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food huh? from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Maida. The cut price mercenary are commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing and had a shackled nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Integrating new PDA data. Well, I have location to the Signal go. location uploaded to PDA. Yes, I can see that down there. The Degasi base. Because <laughs> I found out while just messing around in my other worlds, I had found that Pacific tablet. That PDA. And I'm like, holy crap, I didn't even know this thing even existed. What an interesting sight from here. Hold on. Okay. We need something to put in the time capsule. I also need to go over to that one. Alright. Observatory. I don't like the look of this thing. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. 
No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Huh? Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, huh? I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. <gasps> Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Very interesting. Alright, Sparse Reef, hello. And that'll be the grassy plateau now back home so we can go around. From what I remember, I am gonna reactivate Life Pod 3 because I'm pretty sure what I wanted to build was around Life Pod 3 area. So once we get that wiring kit up, I don't even know if I have any copper though. I got gold. I need to go find copper, that's right. I needed to make a battery. Because I need a battery for the builder. Yeah, that will lead me down to the crab snakes. That's where the wreck is as well. So really all I have to do is head from my uh, base or life pods, basically south, to get to the island and I can in get to the thing that way. All right. Back to the life pod, we do have the message from before that could be another life pod. I'll deal with 17, all the other uh, 17 when I actually want to go down to the Degasi. Until then, no, but I do at the moment have a, quite a good food source and a water source. I 
priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yogi Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That radiation suit is not exactly the hardest to build. That's not actually hard. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. I know. Here we go. Found it. See, I knew it was like near Life Pod 3. So. Oh, hi there, sir. Where are you? and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Okay, now before I can even get anything up on rational, I need quartz and copper. That's oh, lead. Quartz. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Oh. Copper, copper, lead. Well, I need to make a foundation lead and titanium. That should be a decent amount of power for the time being. Locker. Locker. That should be good for now. Uh, we'll put the builder back. We'll grub these out. Uh, one of the things I do need to quickly create is the indoor grow bed, which is titanium. My titanium on the current. <coughs> it's actually with the life pod. It would make it a lot easier finding my base if I like have a prawn suit or a seymour. If I have both, I can leave one back at the base and just... Mm. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, an SOS, you know, help, they will pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance, over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range stands pick up in the meantime. All right. Sunbeam. Bed.
farming alien plants is a crew survival strategy. Sherman Heronsky survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stag root. Fabricator. Copper. That's it? Copper? Really? That's it? That is going to be my current problem, is a bunch of copper. Um, sir, are you okay? May have not should have done that. Yeah. Like, I mean, he was stuck. I just wanted to help. I mean, I'm getting a lot of titanium. Titanium's good, though. What are you? Bioreactor fragment. It's copper that I want, though. Copper. Bar. Titanium. By the way, let me scroll down for something. I need to see what I need to make the battery charger. Copper wire and wine ring crate. I need silver. I live in the grassy plateau. This should not be hard to find. And I don't know if I have much silver. I have one. I mean, one's fine. For now. The reason why I want a battery charge is I'm already really low on my sea glide. Silver. Silver. Hey, hey, look at this thing! I got the moves. Thing wanted me dead for crying out loud. Well, that's a bunch of biters. <coughs> there we go, we got a bit of resources. Lead. I won't say no to lead, okay? That's good. It's... Oh, no. I'm, I'll take copper over salt. There's a lot of resources hiding around in this area. I just need to... There's a... There's a I saw a sand shark egg. The downside is it's making the reinforced walls, which require my lithium. I don't have lithium. Alright. Uh... There. Wait a minute. I'm gonna deconstruct both of these. Oh. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. There we go. It will now slowly recharge my battery. Until then, we need more quartz. Um, how much titanium do I even have? Oh, copper do I have? I have two. I'll eventually go for more copper soon. Uh, for the time... Um, 
Of course. Like, quartz is a good thing. Just need to find it. Like there. There's some quartz. I want to create two more solar panels. So, oh, that's a gastropod. Um. Yeah. There is going to be a crash risk down there, isn't there? Okay, it's not even a cave. Thought it was an actual cave, and then I was going to be screwed. This would be a crash fish. I mean. down here before. There's a lot of still salvage still around in the kelp forest. And because I haven't grabbed any from the kelp forest, we should have plenty for a while. That's another biome there, but I don't know what it is. Salvage here, okay. What biome am I in now? As soon as I'm still in the kelp. What type of kelp forest is this? Holy shit, I found some gold! Well, it still says I'm in the kelp, so it doesn't really help. Ah, that's the underwater islands. Down there's the underwater island. Okay, I need the propulsion cannon, okay. What the fuck are you? <laughs> it looks like a predator. Uh, twist steel. I mean, he's getting close to me. Very close. And I got him. Now go! Codes and clues. Flora. Carnivores, twist steel. Yeah. What the fuck was that? I don't know why I'm heading towards the mountains. I'm pretty. Ooh, what are you? I have a vehicle bay. Like, I mean. I already have you. Uh, that's a sea glide as well. I mean, I have you guys. Titanium. I'm. We'll take that. Take the frickin' titanium. Like, I want another one? Dude. Question, where am I currently? Yeah, so the mountains are over there. But I don't want to go to the mountains, not yet. 
I like how all I came out to do was find quartz. And in the return, I'm actually heading away from finding quartz. Oh, that's silver. I don't have enough room, though. What do I... Hmm. How much quartz do I have anyway? One. Look at the giant grassy plenty spine. Oh, Stalker, how do you do? Sea glide. Don't really want the sea glide fragment. I want quartz. Sea glide fragment. Fucking Jesus. Let me get sea glide. Empty. Oh, I have to be here. I have to been here before. I think quartz best found in the caves, but the problem is I don't find much. Quartz. Quartz. Come on, one more quartz is all I need. Good, found it. I need to really make a beacon, put it out my base, and go home. That's why I actually know where I'm going. Welcome aboard, Captain. I mean, it's more power. I can't say no to that. Jesus Christ. Try. Uh, one. All right, there you go. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed episode two of Subnautica. This one I'm doing a bit more slower. Hopefully, going a bit more slow pace, or my pace at least, and not trying to speed through the thing. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. See you guys later. Take care. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>